Why do I hate contemporary art? Let me show you the three most powerful observations that you can make about contemporary art. Observation number one. On the right side we see Damien Hirst with the love of God. For the love of God. John McKay on the left side. Now, am I saying that Damien Hirst stole from John McKay? Am I saying that he copy-pasted John McKay? This is extremely similar. If I would not know anything about art, I would think there's definitely inspiration going on here. Second observation. On the right side, we see Damien Hirst. On the left side, we see, once more, John McKay. <laughs> now, if I would not know anything about art, I would think that these are science toys. I would not consider this artwork as at all. I would not consider this art at all. I have to be careful that I'm not screaming in the mic, okay? Be careful. Now, am I saying that Damien Hirst copy-pasted John Decay, that this is the almost exact same artwork? Not at all. I'm not saying that at all. I would never say this about Damien Hirst, the best artist of the 21st century, the master of contemporary art. Never would I say that about Damien Hirst. Observation number three. This is the best observation of them all. This is the all-time greatest observation I've ever made in my entire life. Literally the best thing I've seen so far. On one side, we see... On one side, this is the best thing ever. On one side, we see... Damien Hirst's spot paintings and on the other side we see Thomas Downing's spot paintings now. Damien Hirst's spot paintings are selling for hundreds of thousands of dollars. Thomas Downing for nothing. Nobody has heard of Thomas Downing. Nobody has ever seen Thomas Downing. These are the same paintings. These are the same circles. They are circles for God's sake. Nobody cares about Thomas Downing and everybody loves Damien Hirst. Oh my god, look at these amazing circles by Damon Hurst. This is nuts. I've never seen circles this beautiful before. Now what does all of this mean? It means that the best artists alive. The best artists of the 21st century, the masters of the contemporary art, are a f***ing joke. They can't do anything. They are drawing circles. For God's sake, circles that they've stolen from another artist on a canvas and they take themselves seriously. This is a joke. I mean, they are clowns. This, this doesn't make any sense. $400,000 for a banana taped on a wall. This is nuts. This is absolutely nuts. Not because of the $400,000, but because Mauricio Catalan doesn't have anything to say. He doesn't have a voice. If you listen to him speaking, he is meaningless. He is empty. He doesn't have anything to say. If I ask anyone in the art world, why is Mauricio Catalan? Such an amazing guy. What has he said to you that was so profound? They don't have an answer because he didn't say a goddamn thing. Nothing. Zero. It's all one big joke. A banana take to a wall. This is all one big psyop. It is one big scam and the artists all the way down at the food pyramid are the ones who are suffering. Why is this a problem? Why is it a problem that we have morons at the top of the food chain? Why is it a problem that we have morons that don't have anything to say, that are meaningless, that are empty? It's a problem because if you create a pyramid like that, a pyramid where Damon's and Jeff Koontz's with their balloon dogs are all the way on the top, then society will not take them seriously. Of course society will not take them seriously. It's a fucking balloon dog. It's a circle on a canvas. Of course nobody takes them seriously. And what happens when nobody takes them seriously? Well, AI companies will come along. And those AI companies will start stealing from all the artists. Stealing from John. Stealing from Natalie, stealing from Pierre, from everyone. Because of profit. And once AI companies steal from everyone, we need the people all the way on top of the food pyramid to stand up for us, to speak up, to say something. But they don't. Why? Because they are weak. The words that come out of their mouths are weak. They've always been weak. 
That is why they are drawing circles. Why are they not speaking up? Not just because they are weak. Because they have been stealing themselves. Damien Hirst has been stealing himself for his entire career. Of course he is not speaking up. On top of that, the AI company overlords are buying Damien Hirst's work. Of course Damien Hirst is not stepping up. Of course he is shutting the f*** up. In a video a couple of months ago I talked about Damien Hirst and how you should learn from Damien Hirst. How you should copy paste his behaviors. But I was a fool. I changed my opinion. I changed my mind. Damien Hirst is a fucking clown. Let's think about this for a moment. So, contemporary art, Jeff Koons. What does Jeff Koons have to say? What is Jeff Koons' opinion? Balloon dogs. That balloon dogs are beautiful. That balloon dogs are beautiful. I mean... <laughs> What is this? This is insane. This is absolutely nuts. I went on the internet. I tried to find something that Jeff Koons has said in the last 30 years that was profound. Something that had meaning. Something that had depth. And I couldn't find a single goddamn thing. That the guy didn't say anything. It's just nothing. What happened to the art world? Now this is this is a problem and it hurts me deeply. Why does it hurt me deeply? Because I've been admiring Jeff Koons. I've been admiring these people. Admiring them for 13 years. That I'm a fool myself. That I am a joke myself. How can you admire a guy that draws circles on a canvas and not be a fool yourself? How is that possible? I have no idea. That's why I'm not only hating contemporary art, I'm kind of hating myself. Jeff Koons. Beautiful opinion. Beautiful. Beautiful addition to the history books. Balloon dogs are beautiful. Thank you, Jeff Koons. Thank you. This... Mm, oh my god. What would we have done as a species without your balloon dogs? Now why does this pain me so deeply? Why does it touch my heart so profoundly? We come from a proud lineage of artists. We come from a history of artists that were connected to the smartest and brightest people from all areas of life. Everybody admired artists. Everybody looked up to artists. The best scientists in the world were connected with artists, with Da Vinci's of the world. This is what art stood for. And now we have these balloon dog millionaire bullshit guys that don't have anything to say. That's... Art was so powerful. Art was so powerful that we had to ban artists for hundreds of years. Because their ideas were so profound that they were dangerous to the fabrics of society itself. They were so revolutionary. That the, the, the overlords, the people in charge, were afraid of artists. They banned the books. They blacklisted the books. They blacklisted the artworks. They put artists in jail for no reason because they were afraid. That's how powerful artists were. Look at artists now. Look at the exhibitions. Go to any exhibition in your local area and you will see at the opening show after two months of marketing the exhibition, you will see 40 people showing up. 40 people to your exhibitions. 40 people to these solo exhibitions. Why? Because because nobody gives a shit. Nobody cares. It's all, it's all a psyop. Dostoevsky, War and Peace, was blacklisted because it was that fucking good. Egon Schiele was put in jail because his viewpoints on nudity were too revolutionary. Now we see TikToks and Instagrams full of girls dressed in whatever the fuck loaded. We, we see this all over the place. Nobody cares about this type of nudity. It was revolutionary in every possible way, put in jail. It was too dangerous. Socrates was cancelled because his viewpoints were influencing the youth too much. And it was criticizing religion too much. We put him away, cancelled him. Why? Because they are too dangerous. They are too, like The energy that resonates out of their existence within the artworks, within the books, it's too much. It's too powerful. What do we have now? Balloon dogs. 
we have Ed Sheeran. Have you seen an interview with Ed Sheeran before? It's... <laughs> the guy has nothing. The guy has... It's a joke. The guy is completely full of shit. These people have nothing to say. They are bots. The overlords are using them. They are puppets dancing to the strings of the overlords. That's why their artworks are so weak. That's why their force, their, 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 their voices are so weak. That's why I hate contemporary art. Will the blue chip overlords take this figure down? The blue chip baby boomers that control the media landscapes that put Damien Hirst on the pedestal. That celebrated spot paintings of Damien Hurst. Will they tolerate this video? Will they take it down? Should I take it down? Will I have a chance after this video to be part of the art world, part of the art establishment? Will I be invited to the parties? Will I be accepted into the VIP rooms? Who fucking cares? Now, let's say that you are an artist yourself and you think by yourself, well, Circles on the canvas, that's kind of rudimentary. You know what? I can do better. I can do better than circles on the canvas. As a matter of fact, I even have an opinion of my own. What are you going to do? Well, the best thing you can do is to speak up. Is to learn how Damien Hirst, learn how these top level guys, these the best of the best artists are able to transform circles into hundreds of thousands of dollars. How are you going to do that with the artist formula? Click the link in the description, check it out for yourself. That said, get the hell out of here.